today I think we're gonna do something very simple. I ordered those uh, Steeda Strut trunk pop kits. And the reason I did that is because before I had my amp mounted up there. So these are it. This is a pretty simple install job. Uh, the only reason I'm making a video is when you are taking off the little thing that clips in and out, uh, if you're not careful, <laughs> those things will pop. They'll either break or they'll go off flying into the fucking building. <laughs> so um, let's get started. Something simple this time. So here's that clip that I'm talking about. Where is it? Okay, what you want to do is get a small flathead and you're going to go into the little groove and pop it up and grab it with your thumb. The reason you want to do that again is because these things will go flying. Actually what you probably should do instead of popping it all the way off because it's going to get back on. Going down for a minute and redo this. All right, let's try this again. All right, so what you want to do? There's a tiny little groove here on the back. Let's see if I can point it out. Right there. You're gonna put this small flat head in there, and you're just gonna pry it a little bit. Don't pry it too much. You, you don't want the whole thing to come out. And are listening to okay. that jackass break. Like this. Perfect. These things will come out real easily and they'll either break or they'll go flying and you'll never find it. So be very careful. Same to the one in the back. Ow, that hurt. You gotta be careful because it, it can grab your uh, fingers. So the same thing. You can do the same thing when you're trying to take off the ones that came on the trunk. Be very careful because they will go flying. I don't have a way to hold it. So, let's see if I can manage something. Well, you know, the old Now, these things are exactly the same. So, this is the new one. Here's the old one. You cannot tell the difference. So be careful not to mix them up. I'm gonna try and pop this in here with you guys on the phone. And no deal, attention is sticking out. Flying off, but that's good. Oh, nice. So this one, I'm gonna go from the bottom. Oops. This time goes by. And if you really want to be careful, what you should do is probably put some tape here, some masking tape of some sort, so you don't scratch it with the screwdriver, like I just did. Other replacement. <clears throat> mm, this thing almost popped off. Gotta be careful. <clears throat> Smack you in the face. Alright. Now let's see if I can do this again, holding the phone so y'all can see. It's not that hard, but you know, some people. They like to see somebody else screw up their car before they try it. Uh, Alright, so this one is going to be in the pain in the butt. That thing, basically, the little clip, it moved up, so I'm going to have to grab some pliers and move it back down. But before I do that, I'll just put this. There we go. That's it. 
tin. So I'll grab some pliers to do that. One. this because here I did have the cover on I had my uh, scar rp2k mounted up there the cover was on there so it didn't look like that but that's the best I could do with the tools that I had all right so I can't close the trunk all the way right now because I don't have a battery like I mentioned in the car but I can try and close it a little more than halfway and so you guys can see it This thing is the hard as hell, dude. <laughs> Way stronger. Well, y'all get it. Thanks for watching. If you're wondering why I'm wearing these glasses, it's because I am mourning the loss of my mother. COVID got her and you know the rest. But hey, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.